Hello, everyone. Thank you guys again for tuning in after the 10 days of prayer. Um, we are, are wanting to make an announcement um, more in detail in what we want to do in the upcoming um, weeks or months. So for the past um, few months, as Sisipa Sara said, Punchbowl has never gone this far in sharing things. Um, we've only done sermons, praise and worship, those kind of things. So just to give you guys a quick rundown um, what our name for the broadcasting, anything to do with sharing the good news from uh, Punchbowl Samo and SDA is the aura of radiance. Now, aura is basically what the energy that comes from you. And, you know, that could also mean that the Holy Spirit's working within you. So that's what I've taken from the word aura. And radiance means it shines and reflects on surfaces. It shines boundlessly. It goes further and further than your eye can see. So that's the reason why we've chosen Aura of Radiance. So if you see us, please give us a thumbs up, a comment, share our um, videos to help us reach um, people around the globe. And also to use the, the meaning Aura of Radiance within our own lives and within your own. So that's the meaning of Aura of Radiance. I just want to quickly ask Sese, what made her decide to do the broadcast and being fitting to doing the 10 days of prayer? So Sese, can you explain to um, us why you were so encouraged, so passionate in doing a broadcasting um, series? Okay, thank you, Jerome. Yeah. The first thing, um, I love to watch um, and listen to um, people um, online, especially um, Bahalani people. <laughs> they, 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 they have this courage um, to share, to share God um, through Facebook and and I don't know where this I'm coming from, but the only thing I know, something it's from God is it's pushing, keep pushing me um, to do um, to do this kind of thing. And I thought, what if we do a radio, Samoan radio here in Australia, a Christian Samoan radio here in Australia? But I was um, I wanted to, I wanted someone to help me through. Then I asked Jerome. I think God um, um, wanted me to um to to um ask Jerome to share um this thing in my mind and that God put it in my mind. And then I asked Jerome and Jerome um bring up this idea. What about the broadcasting? Then I said, oh, well. I, I wanted to do it. Um, I and then um, things um, work in God's timing. See, I was thinking about something, but um, God already gave the idea to Jerome. And then I said to Jerome, "Let's do it." Um, I want to. Um, this time, God wanted us to do to do this for Him. God wanted us to tell people about him and um, be witnesses for God. So that's why um, I, I am very grateful and thankful to God um, for choosing um, me and put these ideas in my mind and as Jerome's mind, because we know um, we are not... Um, successful people, earthly successful people. We don't have any knowledge and wisdom. But if we depend on God, God willing to use us. So I just pray, um, God, we're going to do this, but everything will be on your hands. 
So that's why we kick off with the 10 days of prayers. And the feedbacks that I heard um, from people, they say thank you that they listen to the message. I know that God is working. So my encouragement to others that are listening, if God give you an idea to be his witness, go for it and depend on God. So um, I hope that's answer your question, Gerald. Thank you, Sese. And just like with you um, out there who is watching this, just as Sese said, if you have an idea and it's come from God, use it because if you keep it inside of you and you know you have it in your brain but you don't put action into it, um, it's gonna help nobody. It won't help you either because then you're gonna feel regret and you're gonna feel um, you're gonna start beating yourself up for not putting that idea out to see what people um, think of what can you do to make um, a world a better place. So as Christians, you know, we, we try to do our best in sharing the messages, no matter who it is, um, young, old, um, people who are lost, um, people who, who have never heard of God before. You got to try and do your part and God will put in um, the, the rest of the percent in. So just like what we do with our tithes, we give them 10%. And God fills um, the rest with his glory. So we are going to start um, small segments, small area recordings, um, probably once a week. So stay tuned. Keep an eye out for us because um, with Sister's Mind and uh, the church, uh, Punchbowl uh, Simon SDA's backing, um, we'll get the message out there to you all and pray that we can come together as one. But for now, have a wonderful Sabbath. Um, have a wonderful start to 2022. Uh, New Year's has um, gone a, couple, um, a week back or two weeks back, but you know, it's always good to have a good start to a new year. But stay safe, God bless, and remember, God's there 24 seven.